Hello, a couple of people have asked that I put together a little video showing um, how to disassemble a soil injector and identifying some of the parts. So I thought I would just shoot this little video and put it up on YouTube for you. Um, this is the S2 soil injector. And uh, while it's brand new, uh, I figured we would just take it apart and look at all the pieces. Used to disassemble the soil injector um, are the wrench, uh, the two wrenches that we provide, uh, a pair of needle nose pliers if you need to use them, and the screwdriver that comes in the kit. Um, those should be all you need to take the whole injector apart. So we're going to start by taking off the sleeve from the tank. And you do that simply by holding onto the tank and twisting this sleeve here to free it up from the threads. And once it's free of the threads, you simply pull it apart. So now we have the sleeve that's number 12 in the instruction guide and the piston, which is number nine in the instruction guide. And the first thing I would do is I would look and inspect this O-ring here. This O-ring keeps the liquid inside the cylinder when, it's, when you're injecting. The second thing I would do is make sure that this piston is tight to the tank. And you can use the large end of this wrench, it goes right in these slots, and you can use it to either tighten or loosen the piston. And I'm going to remove this one so you can see what's underneath it. And once you get it loose, you can just spin it again off of the tank. Okay, so underneath this piston, you have an o or a check valve here and this o-ring so this o-ring would be something you should be taking a look at too to see if it needs to be replaced in case it's worn or broken now this check valve can be removed from the tank one of two ways one way is to use the screwdriver and find one of the slots that's in the side of the check valve stick the screwdriver in the slot and pry away from the tank and it comes out of the tank Sometimes the check valve will get stuck in the tank and what I find works rather well is to take a pair of needle nose pliers and just grab right inside the, the check valve and just twist it a little bit and work it right out of the tank. So when you're putting the check valve back into the tank, you want to make sure you put it O-ring side first into the hole and I would always recommend that you put a little lubrication on it. It'll make it easier sliding it in and pulling it out. And then just about any kind of lubrication works. We uh, talk about using anti-seize on the aluminum threads. You can use anti-seize on the o -ring, or check valve as well. Go ahead and put the check valve back in. Simply line it up and push it all the way into the hole. And then you take the piston and you would, if this O-ring is okay, you would go ahead and just screw the piston back in all the way. And then using the large end of the wrench, tighten it up against the tank. And it doesn't have to be overly tight, just snug so it doesn't come loose on its own. Now, while we're, stu so we're still looking at the piston, I said we were going to look at this o-ring you'd want to make sure that o-ring doesn't look worn and i would suggest after every season you replace that o-ring before you start the new season to reassemble the sleeve back over the top of the piston and attach it to the tank just line the two up push hard and then tighten it up Now, if you notice the label here says lubricate here, we always recommend that you put a couple of drops of some type of oil, whether it be WD-40 or light motor oil in that uh, 
one or two drops every so often to keep the spring inside and the piston lubricated. So now we're going to talk about what's what's from he here down. Okay, so this is the probe and we're going to start down here at the tip end. And so to remove the tip, you again use the same wrench with the large opening, but it slides over the tip and sits right there. And then using the foot plate for support, you just simply, simply loosen the tip and unscrew it. And there is another check valve right here in the tip. This is the check valve that keeps the unit from dribbling when you move it from hole to hole. Again, to remove it, you can either take the screwdriver underneath this ridge and you can pop it out like that. Or like I was saying with the needle nose pliers, you could just lightly grab it right here on the outside, give it a little twist and pull it out of the, the tip. To put in a new check valve, you just press it back in the hole and screw the tip back on the probe. And then again, holding the foot plate, use the wrench and snug the tip onto the probe. Okay. The last thing we're gonna do is remove the probe from the piston uh, cylinder. And you use two wrenches for that. You use this wrench, with this larger opening to go over this nut and you use this wrench to go over the cylinder like that and then you take the two and you just turn them opposite each other and now it's loose and it just unscrews and another check valve you'll note that this check valve has a smaller hole in the end in the parts list is called an S120, where the other two check valves are called an S108. And that's because this hole helps restrict the flow of liquid through the probe. Again, you pull this check valve out. You can take your screwdriver underneath it and pry it out that way. Or if you need to, using your, your needle nose pliers, grab it and twist it and pull it out. You replace it with another check valve and you can screw it back into the cylinder. Again, using the two wrenches, the one wrench on the cylinder, the other on the probe, tighten them up. It is back together.